We've been talking a lot about productivity lately, and as we head into the new year, this is a really good time to sort of get our house in order. So what I wanna talk about today is one of my very favorite tools that helps me stay really organized and really sort of in control of my workflow, and that is Evernote, which I'm sure you've heard about. Um, a lot of people that I talk to, they know about Evernote, but they aren't really quite sure how to make the best use out of it. So I'm gonna show you in this quick tutorial how I use Evernote to stay in control of my business and my life. Hey everybody, here we are inside of um, Evernote on our desktop. And what, what you're looking at now are notebooks. And you can stack notebooks one, one within the other just by dragging them. Um, we're going to go over here to my generic genlaner.com notebook, and I've created a note here, okay? So if you notice, uh, right up here at the top, you're given all these different tools that you can use, um, and they're basically word processing tools. So I've typed in some text, I've changed the color, I've put in a bulleted list, I inserted a table, I even did a voice memo by clicking up here on the microphone. Uh, where I just press the red button and now I am recording a voice memo to myself. I click stop and there it shows up right there in the note. The other thing that I can do is take a picture um, by clicking on this little shutter icon and I'll click the camera and go okay so now I'm gonna click done it's gonna be ginormous then we are just going to shrink it down. And I just grabbed this photo off of my desktop to show you that you can do that. If you click on, you do that by clicking attachment. Then if you click on um, Google Drive, it allows you to select any file from Google Drive and also put a link to that into the note. Um, what's the most important thing I want you to know about creating a note and what makes this so manageable is that you want to add a tag. So let me remove these so I can show you how I did this. So it's kind of little, right? It's easy to miss. It's at the very tip top and we want to type in um, anything that is relevant to this note. So I'll put in demo comma um, test comma blog post comma. Now, notice that I did that all in lowercase letters. That's because it is case sensitive. Because what will happen if you're anything like me is in about, I don't know, 45 minutes, you're going to forget where you put that note. And all you have to do is come into Evernote. And I like to uh, go to the main folder and search all notes. And then I will type, for example, webinar. So anything that I have tagged with webinar is going to pop up. If I want to narrow it down even more, I might type webinar and Facebook. Okay, and that's narrowed it down to anything that I have tagged as Facebook and webinar. Before we go over to uh, our phone app, I want to show you these tools in the upper right hand corner. We can add a reminder um, to remind us a little alarm. Uh, in our notes, we could click present and literally present this in a live coaching call, or we can do this in a um, in a webinar. It gives us this cool little blue cursor thingy. If we click on this little at sign, um, we can take the whole note, um, save the whole note as a PDF. If we click information, we can add a lot more. Uh, a lot more information, including a URL. And of course, we could click the trash can to trash it. So now let's go and look at Evernote from our phones. Okay, so we're going to pretend that this has something to do with my online course called My Little Course. So I'm going to click on that notebook, and then I'm going to cl click the um, plus sign down here at the bottom, and I'm going to click Photo. And now I'm gonna take a picture of this document. And you see how it captured that? And let's see, there's a background showing, so I don't know if you're gonna get the full effect 
but as you can see, it like really um, captured it so nicely. And then now I'm going to click save and I'm going to go, I'm going to go back to that document and I'm going to make sure and tag it just like we did before. So I just clicked information. I'll tag it as test. I'll click close. And so if I ever forget where I put this, it won't really matter because I can just search for the tag. The other thing that we can do just like on desktop is we've got the recorder function, the attachment, the photo, the reminder there at the bottom. But we also have a little doodler. This is also great for when you take screenshots from your phone. Um, it's just super handy and I, I just, I really don't think I could live without it. The, finally, the final thing that I want to show you with Evernote, um, which is really its best feature, is I'm going to go over here to let me find a website. So let's go to, I'll just go to Social Media Examiner. So this is an article that I maybe I want to keep. So I go over here and I click on the little elephant and I can choose the full article like this, okay? I'll choose simplified article. That gets rid of all, all, the, all the other stuff, right? And just gives me the actual article. I could say I want the full page, so that would be the whole screen. Um, I could bookmark it, I could screenshot it so that maybe all I want is this. And what I like about the screenshot function is that right after it takes that screenshot, it gives me this screen. And so I use this all the time. So if I need to draw an arrow to something, I just do this. And of course I can change the color of the arrow right here. I can make it yellow or blue. Um, I like this thing too. It's sort of like a pixelator. So if there's certain things you don't want people to be able to read in a screenshot, you could blur it out like that. I use that all the time. And then of course, here's our opportunity to add a tag as well. So I'm going to call that test and then click save. If for no other reason, one thing that is really, this is really great for, if you don't use it for anything else, I'm going to go into my Gmail account. Um, let's look at this one. So this is a promotion email from Teachable. Okay. And maybe I think, wow, that's a really good sales letter. I, I want to, I want to keep this handy because I might want to, um, I might want to borrow their format. Of course, I don't want to copy anything that they've said word to word. I am not a teaching platform, so I wouldn't wouldn't make sense to do that anyway. But I might want to use this as a template for some of my own sales uh, funnels. So what I'll do is I'll go over to that little elephant again, and um, I'll do just email. So I want the entire email, and then I would add it to a, my swipe file notebook. So I have a notebook that is just things like this. Okay. Things that I collect that other people do that are great examples. Now that file can get really big. So I'm going to make sure and add a tag and I'm going to call this email marketing. Okay. And I might even label it as email automation, um, or sales sequence anything I could think of. You really can't give it too many tags. It's just going to make you help you find it that much more easily. And then I would just click save. So that wraps up our Evernote training. And I'd love to hear from you if you have any questions or I'd like to know how you use Evernote in your daily life and in your workflow. Let me know in the comments below.